Hi everyone, what's up? This is Andre. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Sendlane 45 emails with Duplicate Dave. All right, so here's the deal. If you use Duplicate Dave's legendary marketer landing page, you don't need to do all this. But some people go out and they say, all right, I want to use my own landing page and I want to use me and not Dave's as a representative. So if you want to use your own name and you want to use your own unique landing page, okay, I see. Emails, and you could set up. All right, so you could set up everything. So in this one, we're going to show you how to set up the 45 emails with Duplicate Dave. All right, so this is the name. If you decided to use Duke, um, Dave's emails, feel free to use them. So this is what we're gonna, we're gonna use. So this is the dashboard. You have the campaign, you have workflow, you have the autoresponder and all that good stuff. So you wanna click on workflow, right? Once you click on workflow, the next thing you're gonna do, you wanna create a new workflow. Once you create a new workflow, you see subscribers list. You don't really need to do anything with that. You want to click choose list. So you want to click on duplicate day one. Click on duplicate day one, and then you hit OK. Once you hit OK, you will see this pop up. Next thing you want to do, you want to click the Add button to add your first email. Once you click, click that little plus sign, you click send email. Once you click send email, you'll see this, select like an email, you wanna click that drop box, you wanna click create. Once you click create, are you sure you wanna create a new email? Yes, boom. All right, so campaign name, you could call this, Duplicate day one. Why? Personalize it. Uh, subscribers first name. Yep. Do that because uh, what Janice is doing, she's asking for the, on her capture page, she's asking for the email uh, first name. The next thing you want to do, you want to click next. I have K9, I have what is on here. I don't know which one of them is making that uh. that noise in the background. All right, so anyways, choose a template to start with. The next thing you want to do, you want to click from scratch. I always want to start from scratch. You click start from scratch. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up Duplicate Dave email, 45 emails, which you can download in the back office, right? Okay. That's where I got from yesterday, right? The email back office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is if you, from, from your back office. So this one, this, you copy all this. I'm gonna copy this and then you wanna paste this. Oops, I normally just highlight everything. Hit paste. Once you hit paste, you will see the email look like this. So, what I always advise you to do, you wanna space make sure. Space, yeah, very good. That's that's what I did with the, the one you told me about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, once you space your emails out. But I had to type it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a struggle. Yeah. All right, so just space it out because it looks better when you read it as well. I just want to space it out so it looks nice and pretty.
So this this is a different. Um, um, this is yeah. This is Simlane autoresponder. So this is totally different. I know uh, a lot of people use Aweber, Git Response, all that stuff, but this is. Pretty simple, huh? Very, very simple. So I'm using Janice. So I'm going to write her name. This is her autoresponder. She gave me her autoresponder to do this. Okay. So what I do. All right. So you want to give it like a little space so it's like all spaced out. Uh -huh. And then you want to put your name. This is Janice here. And you want to always make sure that you double check all these emails. Because remember, these emails are going out from Duplicate Dave's system already. So uh -huh. he did it to his liking. So first name, now first name will go there. Right? Um, the email address of what you will use. Um, Janice, I'm just going to write this here. So you just put your own email, right? Is that the one I use for um, okay. um, my email list, right? Yeah, this would be the email that... Not not, is, not the Gmail, but the no, email. No, not, not the Gmail. The email. email that is going to the prospect. The one I... I, I uh, the one you created on? last night, yeah. Okay. So you're telling everybody they need to whitelist because there's a lot of information coming to you, blah, blah, blah. So, it's more better. You don't you don't have to interfere with like Gmail and stuff. Exactly. All right. So you want to click here. Bam. Click here. Once you click here, what you're gonna do? You want to make sure you grab the sales link and not the landing page link. So it says here sales link. Make sure you grab that sales link. You come over here. And then this is called hyperlink. So you want to highlight the word, click here. Once you highlight it, you see this um, looks like a, a chain. You want to drop the link in there. Once you drop the link in there, you're all set. Only thing you have to do is save. So that's all oh, you know what I first do? And then what I always do is you make sure you test it. You can click test. Mm -hmm. You know, I forgot. You no. Know, uh, one, uh, one second, one second, one second. What you want to do, you want to hit continue. When you hit continue, you want to hit next. And then when you hit next, all this is here. And then send notification send a confirmation to the following email when the campaign has been tested so this is here you want to click here good so the first email is set up so the next email what you want to so this is the first email it's the first email that goes out like immediately when someone opts in all right so that email goes up. So now the next email you want to do, you want to create another email. But first what you want to do, you want to put a wait time. So you want to add wait. So wait one day. So you have the first email. And then you wait one day. And then you have the next email. Oh, it's like it's like get response. And then what you want to do, you want to collect, select, look at, look at. You want to create another email again. And you can put BD two subject. You want to go to where duplicate Dave has. Second email. And the subject says you got played. So you want to copy this. Subject you got played. You want to click next. 
Start from scratch again. Just like before, this is the body. The body here, so you want to grab the body of the email. Scroll all the way down. Copy. And what you want to do is paste. Same thing again. You want to make sure that you make this in the room. Okay? Always make sure you put space in your email so it's easier to read for people. You want to make sure it's easier. When there is line, people tend to read better. Easier, so you want to go, go through it. Just want to put some lines. 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 Those are big things. Get out. And the next thing you want to do, you want to make sure you put like a big space. You want to call it Janice again. Insert link here. Put here. So this is how to set up 45 emails with duplicate data if you want to do it on your own. Go again, you want to go in the back office of duplicate tape, you correct. Highlight it. Chain link. Once you click on the chain link, you drop it in. Hit save. Here we go. Always test it. <laughs> always make sure I test it. But because I know what I'm doing, I just go with the flow. Then all you have to do is hit finish. Mm -hmm. Let's see, hit finish. There you go. So we have the first email. Mm -hmm. uh, wait one day. One day, the next email go out. You do it again, the next email. It's the same thing, just almost like, uh, it's almost like uh, get response. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just... It's just a different name. All all other responder is basically the same thing. It's just yeah. so you have the first email, you wait one wait one day. So make sure you wait one day. Second email, wait one day, blah 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 blah. Once you do that. And then click on here. Continue save. I'm just double checking something. It's all good, but I just want to make sure everything is good. Finish. One day. One day. Make sure you hit that save button. Because if you don't hit save, it's gonna change to an hour. So make sure when you do it, Jenis or Kenna or whoever's watching this video, make sure when you put one hour, I mean one, put day, always hit save. Okay. Because if you don't hit save, then definitely it will go up. All right, thanks everybody for watching this video. Again, this is how to set up send lane email follow-up series with Duplicate Dave. Hope you enjoyed this video. And again, uh, if you want to uh, join Duplicate Dave, just drop the link, uh, check out the link below in the description and like this page and, sorry, like this video. <laughs> Too late. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and I hope this has some value for you and help you with the training. Uh, thank you. Yep.